Are you struggling to brainstorm thumbnail ideas for your YouTube videos? Have you spent hundreds or maybe even thousands of dollars hiring someone else to create them for you? Or are you someone who really just wants to know how to create captivating thumbnails that will skyrocket your CTR? What if I told you there's a way to fuse the intelligence of ChatGPT and the creativity of DALI 3 to create you the perfect thumbnail for your video? Wow, that's actually a really interesting and cool concept. Combining the capabilities of ChatGPT with the creativity of Dolly 3 could revolutionize thumbnail creation. Well, in today's video, I'm going to show you guys exactly how to do this. And that's not all, guys. Stick around to the end because I've got a game-changing bonus tool that's going to elevate your content creation game. So let's get into it, guys. Here's how to create an amazing YouTube thumbnail using ChatGPT and Dolly 3. You're also going to need the Photoshop beta, okay, guys? All right, so the first thing we're to do is you want to go to chat gpt we want to go to dali 3 you actually want to tell dali 3 what you're actually trying to do so i'm looking to create a youtube video titled how to create amazing youtube thumbnails using chat gpt and dali 3. so it actually responds and tells you what it thinks of the video and at the bottom you can see for the thumbnail of this video i can generate some captivating images for you based on the title would you like me to do that? And this is where we say yes. All right, so these were the first examples that it gave me. You got four different examples. I like the one on the top left. So I wrote, I like the first idea. Let's branch off that. I want to put a picture of me in there with an amazed face. So then it gave me more examples. Then I wrote, yeah, I like the idea of the computer screen with a nice visual and the text chat GPT and DALI 3. Then it's given me more visual examples. Then I asked it, make it more like a Mr. Beast thumbnail. And it gave me these four examples. And some of the examples here I really, really liked, especially the one at the top left. I'll just give you guys a close up of this one. Uh, obviously the text is slightly wrong, but I was just really impressed with the animation of this one. Then we got to this point where I said, I really like the first one, but can we get it into a computer to show that it's a thumbnail? So then it gave me this example. Now I like how it's animated. It's coming out of the computer, but there's no color. I like the bottom right one, but we need to add color. All right, so it added the color and here it is. This is pretty much what I worked with. This was the base, the canvas of the actual thumbnail. All right, so we wanna click here, which is download. You wanna open up Adobe Photoshop and you wanna do a new blank canvas and you wanna grab the image. All right, so this is why you actually needed the Photoshop beta. You wanna grab the marquee tool and just highlight this part here where it's all white. And you wanna click generative fill, click generate. You can see there guys, it's filled in the blanks and you can't even tell. Look how great, good of a job that it actually did. I'm gonna continue now and do the rest of the borders and then we'll move on to the next step. All right, and that's all done, guys. And you can see there on every single border, you cannot even tell that I've put the image in the Photoshop beta. So DALI 3 and the Photoshop beta, those communicate very, very well. Uh, now, before we continue, we've got four generative fills and we've got obviously the original image. We wanna highlight all of them and right click and we wanna merge the layers. All right, now I just wanna position where the image is going to be. See, this is where the generative fill feature on Photoshop is so handy. Anything that comes up as white again, you just wanna highlight it again and do the same thing. Remember, every time you do this, you have to right click and merge the layers. All right, now let's get a photo of me. All right, so these are all photos of me of a photo shoot that I did. Now it wasn't a professional photo shoot. It was just myself upstairs in a room with a white background. And what I wanted to do was I wanted to make sure there was light in the room and my girlfriend was just taking photos of me, okay? There's one of me doing this, there's one of me doing this. Like, you, you get the idea. All right, you wanna drag the image that you wanna use, okay? You wanna press done. Now, this is another feature of the Photoshop beta that I love. You click select subject. Boom, perfect. You wanna press control C, control V. Okay, now it's pretty much created the duplicate. Uh, you wanna go over here and delete the original image. So now you just have yourself, okay? Now you wanna press control T and you wanna bring yourself over here. You wanna right click and flip horizontal. Uh, increase the size of me, control T again. 
drag it up until you're happy with the image. All right, when you're happy with the positioning, you wanna click on the actual layer itself and you wanna go over here and click outer glow. Now what that does, white outline around me, it just gives it a bit of a nicer finish. You guys probably know what this is, but uh, these are the um, settings that I used, okay? So pause the video if you wanna use it. All right, so we wanna add text now. So we wanna click over here and click where we want to add the text. All right, let's head back to ChatGPT for a second and I want to show you guys why. So I wrote, what should the text be in the thumbnail? It already knows what my thumbnail idea is. It knows what image I like. And you can see here, it's it gives you one, two, three, four, five, six, six different examples. And I went with this one, level up your thumbnails. Okay, so I've entered the text that I wanted to use. Guys, also the font that I'm using is Kamika Axis. It's probably the one that everyone knows. It's the one that Mr. Beast uses. The next part here is you have to position the text really, really well. What I did in this situation, I highlighted this part and I increased the size of the text. Now, the reason why I'm doing it separate is I want the thumbnail to actually be slightly bigger than level up yours. Now we wanna go back to the right here and double click. Similar to what we did before, we're gonna click outer glow again, but instead of it being white, we're gonna make it black so it stands out more. There you go. All right, you wanna grab this arrow that I found online. You wanna do the same thing that you did before when I added myself in. You wanna select the subject. You wanna press control C, control V, delete the original. Uh, then you wanna click back onto it. All right, now what we wanna do is we wanna do the same thing that we did with the text, double click. Then you wanna go outer glow again. Now you can see there what it's done. The text and the arrow now have, now look very similar. They both have the black border, okay? So then you wanna press control T. This is the part where we have to position everything perfectly. All right, there you go, guys. I've already done the thumbnail for this video, but this was me just doing it again. And there it is, guys. That's how easy it is to create thumbnails now using the Photoshop beta and DALI 3. But look at that. You can see there, you got me on the right. I'm very clear. I'm very, I'm sort of pointing at the computer. Then you've got the arrow, you've got the text, and then the image, everything is just really, really good. So that's how easy it is now. It's just so much easy with um, using DALI 3, and also just using the um, Photoshop beta. Everything is just really, really good. All right, now here's the bonus tool that I wanna show you guys. All right, so you wanna go back to ChatGPT and this is where I entered the actual thumbnail from last night. And I wrote on there, every thumbnail I want you to rate out of 10 for effectiveness, one being not effective and 10 being very effective. And you can use decimal points. All right, so we're back to ChatGPT4. What I want you guys to do is I want you guys to grab the image that you just created in Photoshop and I want you to upload it onto ChatGPT4. And this is the uh, this is the prompt that you wanna write. Every thumbnail I want you to rate out of 10 for effectiveness, one being not effective and 10 being very effective, and you can use decimal points. And here's the response. Let's evaluate the thumbnail. The animated character with a surprise expression is attention grabbing and aligns with the theme of the AI generated content the explosion of colors, the arrow pointing, the presenter pointing, the open AI logo. Sorry, I forgot to add that I also added the AI logo on there. The topography, level up your thumbnails, is written in bold, clear letters, making it readable, emphasizing the main topic of the video. And at the bottom here, it's actually rated at 9.2 out of 10. Now that was the first thumbnail that I created. And what I ended up doing, I ended up going back and I actually had a look at some of the text and the positioning, it wasn't right. So I fixed it up, the positioning of the computer. I sort of made a few adjustments and I uploaded it again. And I asked ChatGPT to rate it again. And here's the response that I got. It gave me a 9.5 out of 10. And it even mentioned the adjustments made have enhanced the thumbnail's effectiveness. So I want you guys to do this from now on. I want you guys to create the thumbnail. And when your thumbnail is done, I want you to upload it to ChatGPT. And I want ChatGPT to analyze the image for you and tell you how effective the thumbnail is. Guys, I just want to express and explain that my knowledge with Photoshop is very, very basic. So if you're someone like me that doesn't really know much about Photoshop and all these different tools and all these effects that you can do, um, the Photoshop beta 
And also, Dali 3 is going to do everything for you guys. So I want you guys to try it out yourself. I want you guys to send me some of your examples on Twitter or Instagram. Anyway, guys, I hope you guys found this useful. Make sure to like and subscribe if you haven't done so. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.